Hello, my name is Jessie and I'm one of the educators here at Bywater Solutions. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the self-checkout feature in Koha. So let's start by logging in to the Koha staff client. Once we are logged into the system, we're going to want to come down to Koha Administration, and then we're going to want to select our global system preferences. Once we're in our system preferences, we'll want to come over here on the left hand side to circulation. In the circulation system preferences, we'll be able to set our self checkout features. This is where we'll come down and we'll enable our module for self checkout. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come down here to the last system preference and that is web based self check. This is where you'll set it to enable or don't enable. Once we set it to enable, this will set up our web based self checkout. Now you'll notice at the end of this system preference, it gives you a URL that you can copy and paste into your OPAC. This will go directly at the end of your OPAC URL. So for example, ours would be model.bywatersolutions.com and then I can come over here, paste that URL and enter it into the system. That will activate my self checkout system. Next, let's take a look at some of the other features. The first one is asking you if you want to allow self check returns. If it's set to allow, patrons will be able to return items through the web-based self-checkout system. So they can log in, return an item, and log out. So again, you can allow or don't allow. The next option is asking for self-checkout allowed for the system to automatically log in with the staff login. One thing you do need to remember is that this module needs to have a staff member with circulation permission set. So what you can do is come up and create a patron that has self-checkout permissions. So what I usually do is come over here, we'll add in a new patron that has self-checkout features. I've created one in the system uh, called self-check. That way I can create a user, have the username set to self-check. Then I can come in and give that particular user a permission to log in. So if I come down here to set permission, I can just allow it to have the self-checkout permission. That way I don't have to give it anything else except self-check. This will be an easy way for your staff members to log into the system um, in the morning um, and, and have the availability for your students or your patrons. Let's come back down to our system preferences. This asks you if you want to allow or don't allow that web-based self-checkout system to automatically log in with the username and password. Now you have two options down below. You can add any custom CSS or custom JavaScript to the web-based self-checkout. So if there's any type of logos or information that you want to add, you can add those in. Our next system preference is going to be the help message. So if you have any particular instructions that you want to provide for your users, you can enter those instructions in here. Next we'll have our self checkout by login. So this is where you can decide how you want your patrons to log into the self based checkout system, either by username and password or by barcode. Now, if you have a receipt set up to your self-checkout, you can also show the option for a pop-up box that will give the user the option to print a receipt at the end. So you can either show or don't show that box. So depending on if you have a, a receipt printer there or not, you have that option. Okay, our next one is the self-check timeout. Um, this allows you to set the number of seconds to time out the current patron's um, system after being logged in and inactive. So right now it's set to 120 seconds by default. If you have patron images in your system, you can also set that to show or don't show. And then finally, that last one that we started with that was enabling the self-checkout system. 
Once all of those are set, come down to the bottom and save your circulation preferences. We also want to come over here and copy that uh, URL at the end so we can take that back over to the OPAC. So now let's head to the pack. Once I'm at the OPAC, I can come over here and enter in that URL, and that will take me to my self-check preference. From here, remember, we'll have to log in as self-check and self-check. Now that we have our self-check pulled up, let's log in as a patron. So now I'm going to come over here. It says Bywater Library System Self-Checkout. I'll enter my username and password and then come in and log in. Once I'm logged in, this will show me who I'm logged in as. Uh, there's my picture over here on the right hand side. I can scan a new item or enter its barcode. I can check out, return, or renew an item. Down below I can also see the current checkouts that I have in the system. So I have three books that are currently checked out. So let's start by first checking out an item. So I'm going to come over here and scan my item in. That will populate my item below. So now I can see that um, it was checked out and it's going to be due back on December 14th. Now I also have the option to renew an item or to check an item in. So if I brought a book back that I wanted to check into the system, I can come over here and select check in that item. That will then check that item into the system and now it will show only those three items that I have checked out. Once I'm finished, I've checked out my items, I have uh, renewed anything that needed to be renewed, um, or, or I have checked in, once I'm all finished, I'm going to come over here and select that Finish button. Now it's asked me, would I like to print a receipt? So if I am connected to a receipt printer, um, I can click OK. That will prompt my uh, little receipt to come up. So over here you can see on the left-hand side I have my uh, print option, um, and then I can print that. Now remember, if you don't have your printer set up for a printing receipt, you can just turn that system preference off. And you'll notice once I've finished, it has logged me out of the system. So once I'm all done, the user is finished and they have checked out their items. This tutorial is a production of Bywater Solutions. Thanks for viewing.